hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here and what we have here we can take 7 raised to power 4 to the left hand side and we have x minus 2 all raised to power 4 minus 7 raised to power 4 then equals to 0 here but this next step we can write this as x minus 2 all raised to power 2 then all raised to power 2 Again, as 2 times 2, that's 4 minus also 10 raised to power 2 and raised to power 2 equals to 0 here. And this follows when we have a squared minus b squared. Use something as a plus b into brackets, open bracket a minus b. At this here, a is standing as x minus 2 or raised to power 2 and b standing as 7 raised to power 2. Then what we have here, all of this and becomes x minus 2 all raised to power 2 plus 7 raised to power 2 into brackets, also open bracket x minus 2 all raised to power 2 minus 7 raised to power 2 plus bracket equals to 0 here. Then from here we have two possible cases. The first one x minus 2 all raised to power 2 plus 7 raised to power 2 equals to 0 or we have x minus 2 or raised to power 2 minus 7 raised to power 2 equals to 0 here and solving on this side we can expand these brackets here when we have a minus b or squared which is equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab at this here this becomes x square plus 2 square minus 2 times x times 2 plus 7 squared as 49 equals to 0 here. And this we have x square plus 2 squared as 4 minus 2 times x times 2 that's minus 4x plus 49 equals to 0 here. Then we have x square when we rearrange minus 4x then plus 4 times 49, that gives us 53 equals to 0 here. And we have a quadratic equation here. Where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 4, and c equals to 53. Now apply the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. And here we have x equals to minus minus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 53 all over 2 times 1. That is. Next step here we have x equals to minus times minus that's plus that's 4 and plus or minus square root of minus 4 square that's 16 minus 4 times 1 times 53 we have 2 and 12 then over 2 here which implies this becomes x equals to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 2 and 12 plus minus 1 and 96 then over 2 here which also can be written as x equals to 4 plus or minus square root of 196 times minus 1 over 2. And when we separate this one, we have root a times b, which can be written as root a times root b. What we have here now becomes x equals to 4 plus or minus root 196 times root minus 1 over 2. At this here we have x equals to 4 plus or minus which 1 into 6 that's 14 which minus 1 is i over 2. And when we separate this to two fractions we have x equals to 4 over 2 plus or minus 14 i over 2. At this here we have x equals to 4 over 2 that's 2 plus or minus 14 over 2 that's 7 that's 7 i. At this here we have two complex solutions here then also solving for the second case here this solution we have a square minus b square 
which can be written as a plus b into bracket, open bracket a minus b. At this, we can write all we have here as x minus 2 plus 7 into bracket, open bracket x minus 2 minus 7, close bracket equals to 0 here. At this, here, this gives us x plus 5 into bracket, open bracket here we have x minus 9. Close bracket equals to zero here. As this, here we have two possible cases x plus five equals to zero, or we have x minus nine equals to zero here. Yeah, this gives us x equals to minus five, which is a real solution here. And here we have x equals to nine, which is also a real solution here. As this, we have two real solutions from here. And altogether, we have four solutions, two re and two complex solutions here. When we write it out from here, we have x1 equals to 9, x2 equals to minus 5. Then for the complex solutions, we have x3 equals to 2 plus 7 high, and x4 equals to 2 minus 7 high. At this, we have four solutions from here. Two real and two complex solutions. When we check here, when x equals to 9, substitute here. All we have becomes 9 minus 2, all raised to power 4. This is equals to 7 raised to power 4. Then minus 2 here, that's 7, which is raised to power 4, equals to 7 raised to power 4. We have left hand side equals to the right hand side. At this, x equals to 9 here satisfy this problem. Then also for x equals to minus 5. When we substitute here, yeah, we have minus 5, then minus 2, or is to power 4. This is equal to 7 raised to power 4. Minus 5 minus 2, that's minus 7, or is to power 4. This is equal to 7 raised to power 4. That is, here yeah, when we raise minus to an even number, at this minus 1 raised to power 4, then 7 raised to power 4. You can write this like that. This is equal to 7 raised to power 4. A minus 1 raised to power 4, that turns to plus. Plus 1, then times 7 raised to power 4. This is equal to 7 raised to power 4. And 1 plus 1, then 7 raised to power 4, still 7 raised to power 4, equals 7 raised to power 4. Left hand side now equals to the right hand side. That is also x equals to minus 5. Satisfy this given problem. The same thing, these two complex solutions will satisfy. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this tip. Subscribe for more videos. And turn the notification bell. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. Put your comment. See you next class. And bye for now.